I'm Professor Graham Yorston. Welcome to this, the first of a new series of films about pioneers of psychiatry. You may not have heard of today's pioneer, Johann Christian Reil, but I simply had to start with him as he was the person who first coined the word psychiatry. Johann Reil was born in 1759 in North Germany. At the age of 28, he was appointed Professor of Medicine at the University in Halle, then part of the Kingdom of Prussia. In 1808, he published a 118-page treatise in a journal he had founded, giving the reasons he believed a new medical discipline needed to be urgently created, which he named Psychiatry, or Psychiatrie in German. The word literally means the medical treatment of the mind or soul, from the ancient Greek words psyche and iatro. He argued that psychiatry had to be a specialty of medicine because the causes of human disease could not be separated into purely mental, chemical or physical factors, but rather it was an interaction between all three that led to illness. He believed psychiatry would be one of the three major branches of medicine, surgery, pharmacy, or what we might call internal medicine today, and psychiatry. He thought, quite correctly in my humble opinion, that only the very best physicians would have the skills to become psychiatrists. He believed in the continuity of mind and body, and that mental illness was the rightful province of physicians, not philosophers or theologians. He conceptualised mental illness as being due not only to physical lesions in the brain or to hereditary evil, but also to a disturbance in the harmony of the mind's functions. He saw madness as not just a departure from reason, but as a reflection of wider social problems. All of which sounds like the bio-psychosocial model that most people in the mental health field believe in today. His thinking influenced key figures in the German Romantic movement, and the poet Goethe visited him regularly to discuss scientific and philosophical matters. He also made important contributions to several other medical and physiological topics, and he can be rightly considered one of the founders of neurology because of his neuroanatomical studies of the brain. At the age of 54, he died from typhus, contracted while treating the wounded at the Battle of Leipzig, one of the most brutal engagements of the Napoleonic Wars. In addition to his theoretical work, Ryle strove to publicise the plight of the insane in asylums and to develop a psychical method of treatment, similar to the ideas of moral treatment being developed in Britain and France. He advocated for more humane mental hospitals and argued that government and wider society should take greater responsibility for the care of the mentally ill. He even addressed the issue of stigma and how to reduce it, a task that is sadly far from complete 200 years later. For all of these reasons, Johann Christian Reil was a true pioneer of psychiatry. Thank you for watching. If you want to hear more about figures like Johann Reil, then please subscribe and click the notifications bell and then you'll be kept up to date with all the latest videos. See you next time.